so great standing talking you got me checkmate no one's watching or nothing i have cleared out the room also that you can get to be the big spoon <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy that you are choosing to be here today. I hope that you're having a wonderful day. We are going to get so much stuff done today. I cannot remember the last time I did a video that was this long, if ever, honestly. And it was over the course of two days and I am actually so proud of all the stuff that I got done sometimes i work better in a time crunch and on the last day we had people coming over so i pretty much was forced into getting it all done but i hope you guys enjoy today's video and that it brings you tons of inspiration and motivation to clean organize and declutter your homes too aren't you tired of the drama you use your words like they are knives I don't need that type of drama and trying to be tough for the day time. I ended up biting off a little bit more than I could chew as far as laundry goes because I stripped Ava's bed and I went ahead and got her bedding and the washing machine and then I decided to strip Kate's bed and the boys beds and that is just a ton of loads of laundry because you kind of have to separate everything because the comforters are so big and bulky and I already had laundry going downstairs in our laundry room so it took quite a while and lots of trading over to finally get it all done which I'm glad that I did but going forward I need to remember to only do maybe two beds in a day and not four. Why are you looking at me so cold? One's love is nowhere in the maze. You try to make yourself feel better by taking me down. Once I fell, but now I'm strong. I'm ready for the remake. Once I stripped their beds, I honestly could not tell if it was shadows on their mattresses or if there were some stains. I mean, it's boys, so I'm sure there's some kind of something going on or sweating because both of my boys sweat a lot, but I just kind of wiped down their mattresses. And then later when I came to make up their beds, I didn't see anything. So maybe it was just shadows, honestly, from the beginning, but the laundry that needed to be done for their beds seriously took up the whole laundry room and then part of the hallway too. So it was a lot, but I am coming into Ava's room kind of to tackle this area first. Her room has not been deep cleaned in a while and I knew I wanted to clean her blinds and her ceiling fan and the baseboards because y'all know I've been on a baseboard little streak lately and it felt so good to get this done. And the more that I cleaned in here, the more I wanted to clean. The kids were still at school. Actually, halfway through this cleaning, I went and picked them up, but it was just nice to be in here and listen to my music and get cleaning done. I cleaned the other side of these windows for the very first time. I don't even know if I should admit that, but they were really dirty. Find it so hard to breathe 
These window sills had for sure been neglected a little bit and needed some attention, but I did want to point out, just in case some of you guys are curious, the black kind of like on the far left of the window and the far right, that's part of the window. It's like a little plastic, almost felt type thing, and I just didn't want y'all to think that I was trying to clean it and it wouldn't come up. It's just totally part of the window. I just did a Q&A over on Instagram and I seriously loved reading the questions that came in. I didn't even get a chance to get to them all, but a couple of y'all had mentioned that you were curious where I got my clothes from and most people who know me know I'm pretty basic. I don't really wear a bunch of like frou-frou stuff. I mean, I'm all about some leggings and some t-shirts. My favorite outfit in the entire world is some kind of sweatshirt or hoodie and shorts. I don't know what it is about that. I just love it. But I had told some of y'all over on Instagram that I would start linking my outfits that I clean in just because I know some of y'all, a lot of y'all are moms too, and you have a lot of stuff to get done during the day and a lot of us stay home or work from home. So I'm just going to link my outfits in every description box. It'll be the outfits that I wear in that video. So it can help some of you guys out. And for those of you who are not interested, just totally skip past that. But the shirt that I'm wearing right now is from Target. I think it was maybe seven or eight dollars and the leggings are from Amazon and they're two of my favorite things. Got a dopamine rush, got a major league crush when you're next to me. Got my heart upon my sleeve, can I hide the way I feel when you're next to me, girl? One of my very best friends has a daughter who is 10 and when she outgrows all of her clothes, she passes them on to my girls, which is just the best. Like I love it so much. And then I pass on all of the clothes that I buy and even some of the clothes that I get from her to my sisters and their daughters. So we just kind of like pass hand-me-downs all around and it is so great. So she had just given me a bag of clothes, actually three bags of clothes. And since it's my best friend, I do not wash them. I don't care. My girls are just fine. So I hung them all up and put them in their closet. But before I did that, I wanted to go through, I don't know if you guys remember not too long ago, I went through the boys closet and pulled out everything that doesn't fit them anymore. And that's what I'm doing here. So I'm starting in Ava's closet. And the good thing is anything that is too small on her now, I can just pass right on to Kate. And then I took out a lot of the summer stuff that can't be layered, if that makes any sense. So I kept some of the shirts so she can put blue jean jackets over them. But the ones that are just, they scream summertime, I took them out. And for the first time ever, I packed up some of their summer clothes. I never do that. I always keep all their clothes out in their closet, but I just thought this would be good, especially since Ava just got a bunch of new clothes from her friend to make some space and maybe make the closet not feel too cluttered.
If you guys see anything throughout this video that you want a link for, please don't hesitate to ask. I'm going to try to pay special attention to the comments and get back to every single one. I've been trying to do better and better each video with that, making sure that I respond to everybody and especially if you have a question. So don't hesitate to ask me here or over on Instagram and I promise I will get back with you. I got these fun little organizers from Ikea and I think they're mostly for clothing. I got them probably over a year ago now and I've just had them and not used them. So I figured I might as well use them to put both Ava's and Kate's clothes in there that are kind of just off season. And I am fully aware that I set this little thing up wrong. It's typical me and I don't read the directions. And then I kind of realized like after I'm doing stuff for a little bit. Wait, I didn't do that right. And so after I put Kate's clothes in, I fixed these little white inserts. So if that's bothering anybody, I promise you I'm going to fix it. That's just who I am. I don't think I will ever get over how much I love Betty's bedding and this video is in no way sponsored by them at all. I just truly love and stand behind their products and the general feedback. First of all, if you have Betty's bedding, you basically love them. I feel like there's nobody I know who has them who doesn't love them. But other than that, what I hear the most is that they are expensive and it is true. It's a little bit upfront for sure, but it's bedding that will last for a very, very long time and you don't have to buy sheets or pillowcases or anything like that. And also y'all follow me over on Instagram if you're not, because I try to always have y'all's back. If you use my code, I pretty much always have the same Betty's code and I have it linked on my Instagram. And then if you put it together with one of their sales, and I will try to always let y'all know when they're having a good sale, it will give you double the percentage off. So if they have any sales coming up, I promise to let y'all know because if you were to get it anywhere from like 25 to 40% off, it makes it so worth it. I mean, I truly and honestly would pay full price because that's how good the bedding is, but I do understand there's a little bit of sticker shock at the beginning, but it's worth it. If you're on the fence, do it. It is so worth it. I find it hard to
You guys might have seen that fourth Crayola container that has the crayons and color pencils and markers. Last weekend when I did my big craft cabinet project, I only had three and honestly I was kind of too lazy to go upstairs and get the fourth one. So I have it now and it is fine. But as I was working in Ava's room, I was kind of trying to make a mental list of all the stuff that we still needed to do in there. First of all, Mark and I really wanted to turn this rug around because it had this little bump in the top part, kind of where you come in the door and it was bothering me. So if we turned it around this way, that little bumpy part of the rug would be essentially under the bed and nobody would notice it. So I wanted to go ahead and do that. But back when we redid her room a few months ago, we did the white on the bottom and the blue on the top, and I only did one coat of white on the bottom. Maybe like a tiny bit of a second coat, but we ran out of white paint, and I actually bought a gallon of white paint months ago, well after I did the project, to paint the bottom again, and I still have not done it. So... I need to do that. I need to get the second coat on so it's kind of done in there. And then I also want to get some artwork for above her bed. And I want her to be part of picking it out too, of course. And I saw some really cute new things at Target. So I want to show those to her soon and see if she likes them too. But we just have not found anything that we really love yet. So it's kind of stayed empty. And with her crafts here, y'all know how Ava is. She loves to collect and she loves to craft and she loves to be creative. And I love that about her, but sometimes I do have to consolidate a little bit. So I'm consolidating some of her crafts, but still leaving them up here where she can get to them. I'm feeling way too low to start this night, but Scrubbing this was truly pointless because I think what's on there is permanent, but I am actually thinking about recovering the tops of those. I don't know why they're white and then they look super yellow when I sprayed Windex on them, but you know what? I sprayed Windex on the seats in my van and it cleaned them like they have never been cleaned before. So I thought it would work up here, but it did not. So I think I might just like reupholster them. I don't know. That seems like a dramatic word. Just recover them with maybe a darker color because my girls like to play with makeup sometimes. They definitely love to color and do all that. And for the longest time, I said I didn't want that stuff in their room. And then I kind of got to the point where I was like, listen, I have four kids. I got to let them live a little bit. And if we have to do a little bit of extra cleaning up along the way, that is just fine. I filmed this on a school night and it was starting to get pretty close to their bedtime and I realized there was just honestly no way that I was going to be able to squeeze in about three more loads of laundry before the kids needed to go to bed. So I just tried to finish up what I could and we have tons of blankets in our house and I'll show you guys in a little bit 
how the boys reacted to how their beds looked. It just makes me laugh. Like if anything's different or out of their normal routine, it's almost like they just think it's so funny. And they walked into their rooms because I was like, I made y'all's beds. And they walked in. I'll show you in a second. But the kids are so flexible. They don't care. And I ended up finishing up all the bedding the next day and putting it back on. Kate actually, of course, went into the laundry room into the dryer, got her comforter and took it to her bed and completely made it without me having to say anything because she's just a little mama. But even though it was getting late, I really wanted to go through Kate's clothes and do the same thing in her closet that I did in Ava's closet, except the clothes that don't fit her anymore. I went ahead and bagged up to give to my sisters for my nieces and then the clothes that I wanted to save for her for next year I just added those to the little pink container that I put Ava's clothes in and I honestly slid it right underneath Kate's bed because it fit perfectly and you would never know that it's under there And it honestly worked out perfectly because both of my sisters came over the very next night and they each have four-year-olds. Well, one of them is four and one of them is about to turn four. And so they just immediately went through that bag and kind of just like divvied up the clothes that were in there so they could take them home. So I didn't even really intentionally plan that, but it was kind of nice that I was getting rid of it and they were coming over the very next day.
bed, Bud? Bo, do you like your bed? Yeah. <laughs> Did this glow up? I don't think they glow. They do. Your comforters still aren't dry. Oh Actually, they're not washed. This is a Is it gonna be comfy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, my life's in pain because I'm turning six tomorrow. That's why I'm growing. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night. I'm glad you love your blanket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good night. Last night as a five-year-old. See you in the morning, okay? I'm going to get you So Mark and I have tried to do a really good job over the past couple weeks of staying on top of the kitchen. It doesn't mean that it's always clean, but we have tried so hard before we go to bed at night for it to be clean. And I can't tell you what a difference it is to wake up in the morning with a clean kitchen. So no matter how tired I am, I really try to tackle it. And of course, Mark always helps or steps in, but he's really busy right now with work and then with school on top of that. So. I've just been trying to bust my tail and get done everything that I can so our family can have a smooth morning. I won't get you up like Petro, just trying to take your way up with a jet go. But you didn't notice that. Keep clocking all my hours, I told you that. Work now, play later, but you keep going off on me. Keep texting like it's all on me. Yeah, you're all in my head like you're my forever, not for right now. My day one, you hold me down. Hot cold like the winter time. Fight for your love, can't slow me down, don't go far I take me and you over living large Know I'll be there wherever you are Cause you shine bright like, you shine bright like a shoe I'm telling you what, if you guys do not use gloves when you do your dishes, you are missing out because for the longest time I did not wear them and I cannot believe that I didn't wear them because every winter my hands would crack open now they still get really dry and i have to use lotion and stuff but so much of it was from all of the dishes that i washed and i wash my hands all the time too i washed my hands a ton before it was like super trendy and my hands just typically do get dry but these gloves save them so much plus it kind of saves it from touching all the icky gross stuff that's in the sink too so I'm telling you they're like maybe two or three dollars I bought these from Walmart and they make a world of difference so if you do not use gloves go and get some you can thank me later in and out of love never get enough we never seem to get older Things are going right. You seem to have the time. But when it's hard, you just grow cold up. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep out of fires. Fires around ourselves. It's deja vu. When I washed those grapes, I want to say it was maybe two videos ago and then put them into the container. I got a lot of questions asking where those containers were from. They're from Amazon and last I looked, they were on sale. I think they were about $10 off and they're already affordable as they are and I am obsessed with them. I love them so much. They keep my fruit and vegetables so fresh. So if you guys are needing some containers, these are definitely so wonderful. I will link them in the description box. Don't watch your feet cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves We should be good but we keep lighting fires Don't watch your feet cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves it
it's deja vu Another question I got asked a good bit over on Instagram was if we are still vlogging. So for those of you who don't follow along with us over there, we have a family vlogging channel called The Thornton Life, which I love filming vlogs. I love watching back our family vlogs. I love watching other people's vlogs, but we kind of ended up taking a little bit of a break and yes, we are coming back and I will fully explain to you why we took a little bit of a break in the vlog that I'm going to try to post either tonight or in the morning. By this point in the night, my bed was 100% calling my name. So I finished up wiping the counters and I turned on my Robo Rock and I went to sleep and I got the best night's sleep. So this is the next day now and the same day that we were having company over that night. So I wanted to get things tidied up. Honestly, we have been trying to keep up with our house, like I mentioned. So it wasn't one of those situations where things were way out of hand, but this bathroom, <laughs> Mark's and my bathroom is always like this. Like I cannot keep the counters clean. I know I've said that before, but it just, it is what it is. So I'm tidying all this up, getting our laundry all tidied up and caught up and even our closet and our bedroom, just all the stuff that I knew people would see if they're coming over for the first time or wanted to glance into our bedroom because it's on the first floor and I'm not as nervous about the rooms upstairs because I feel like people weren't going to go up there as much. So y'all know how it is. You want to get your main areas tidied up. As much as I would love to link this sweater and the shorts for y'all, I got them both at Ross, which just reminds me of that song. Y'all know that song? I got it at Ross. I don't know. It always gets stuck in my head when I bring up that store. But I love Ross, or at least I used to love Ross so much, but I don't think I've even been into a Ross this entire year. 
And so I need to go back in there at some point and see what they have. But I always love their sweater selection and typically their sweaters are anywhere from 12 to maybe $17. They're so affordable. And I just put on like a black sports bra underneath this sweater because it is open in the back. And I figured that would cover up all the things that needed to be covered up. But I love the way that it looks. And these shorts were from Ross too. I'm pretty sure they were $10 and they are so comfy. They're my go-to shorts for just about everything. And then this shelf right here is in our laundry room downstairs, and we kind of just use it to hold all of our towels because we took all the shelves out of Mark's office because it used to be his side of the closet. So we had to have somewhere to store our towels, and this is where we store them for now until we decide to redo our laundry room, which hopefully will be soon. talk about it. There's something that I need to say to you. Don't say I'm never honest. Hey. Well, baby, should we lie about it? Do we still pretend that we're okay? Like nothing's going on here. Cause I don't have any feelings too hard. And all you got is a city as words. There's nothing to do about it. Tell me the, tell me the truth about it. That I got no tears. If anyone has redone a laundry room or just kind of made some changes to a laundry room, I would love to pick your brain because I don't really know exactly what I want to do in here. It's not a super huge space and so many of y'all were saying to do one of those wooden folding shelves across the top. And right now, I probably kind of could, except the dryer we have in here is very old. We have had it forever, and even before that, it came from my brother-in-law who had it forever. So it's really, really old, and at some point, I'm sure it will have to be replaced. But I don't really want to replace anything with a front-loading machine. I don't love front-loading machines, if I'm being completely honest. I think that they get dirty really easily, like the washing machines especially. So next time we get machines, it will be top loading. So I can't really do a shelf on top or anything. So I was thinking wallpaper would be fun. I was thinking shiplap or some kind of wood accent would be fun. Definitely painting in general and putting up cabinets. But if you guys have any fun ideas that maybe... I haven't thought about which is probably a ton of them I would love for y'all to send them my way So this is kind of a random thing too, but I feel like I have so much more constant communication with y'all over on Instagram and I've kind of been sharing a little bit of my weight loss journey with y'all, I guess if you even want to call it that. I had gotten to a point where I was so frustrated with my weight and more than that, just frustrated with how I felt and I knew I could do better and so I have done everything. I mean, if you guys have followed me for a while, I've done keto. Keto works really well. I've done counting my calories. That works really well. The issue is nothing's going to work unless I do and unless I stay consistent. So this time around, I would say I started what about four and a half weeks ago and I decided to do intermittent fasting and I'm doing the pretty extreme version of it to where I'm only eating within a four hour window of the day. And I know that scares a lot of people because a lot of people don't 
really know what all that entails, but it's not scary. My body has completely gotten used to it. I actually have no more brain fog. I'm not nearly as tired as I used to be. I feel great and I'm down 18 pounds and I am so excited about it and I have loved chatting with y'all over on Instagram about it too. So many of y'all have jumped on board and now we're doing it together and y'all feel great too. So I just wanted to say thank you for the encouragement over here as well as over on Instagram. You guys are seriously just the best and I hope that we can all look for ways to encourage each other this week and that we just choose to love and look past the faults of people because we all have faults and we all have days where we don't do our best or we don't say the best thing. So hopefully we can all show each other some grace this week. I hope that y'all have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see y'all in next week's video. Bye guys. Oh,